Well, we're at the Black Diamond Mines today in California. We haven't even started. Why are you breathing so hard? Because <laughs> I climbed a mountain to get here. Yeah, I guess in the fine print of the email when you make the reservation, the parking lot is about a half a mile that way. And it's mostly uphill. It's and all uphill. we got here like eight Five minutes till. before the <laughs> tour starts. Um, so we had to run up the hill pretty oh much God. and now we're already spent My lungs burn and now we get to do an hour and a half tour in the in the mine yeah hopefully it'd be cool hopefully it'd be light enough to where we can share some footage with you yeah um we'll show you what we can and then after this we're going to like a um it's not another mine they it's call like it an a, experience an experience a mining yeah. experience yeah. so we'll do this for about an hour and a half the next one's like a half hour um we'll show you as much as we can with lighting and sound and yeah, all that stuff and kind of depending push. on how big the tour is and how tight we got to stay with them i don't know how much we'll get to talk yeah. but we'll show you what we can okay i can't believe i was able to say all that because i'm winded I can't either because up the hill. my lungs hurt <laughs> it's gonna be cool though yeah Coal is the black diamond of the you. mining world. There's two separate tours here. Yes. One's the Hazel Atlas mine, mine, and then the coal mine experience is the other one. Yes. So we we just did the first one, which was Hazel Atlas. Which we learned, I did not know this, that Hazel Atlas was a glass company. Yeah, because to get to the coal, they had to unearth a bunch of the sand. Sea. And it was the right kind of sand, sand to make glass out of. Yeah, so that's Hazel Atlas is the company. So if you look at, if you have any old antique glass, you might see the HA or mm -hmm. an emblem of Hazel Atlas on yeah. it. And go look right now. That's where it came from. We'll wait. <laughs> go, go get it. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll stand here. <laughs> yeah, there's a little HA stamped on the bottom of a salt pepper shaker or a jar or a glass or whatever. Yeah. The sand that made that glass came from right mm -hmm. here where we're standing. Yeah. Eight miles of mine yeah it has been mined out here it's crazy um most of it you can't get to yeah. the parts that you can get to they'll take you on the tour yeah um it's actually still mined well kind of yeah i mean they maintain it take stuff out that's hazardous get rid of that stuff yeah so it's not actually mined mined but, but you get it there's equipment still in there and everything yeah it's so cool. now we're going to go on the coal mine experience yes and we'll take you along there too all right We're at the Eureka Slope. Yes. I know that because I read it. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Which was the entrance to the Eureka coal mine. Um, and it was, it was crazy, man. I can't even imagine. There's ropes to get down there because it's so steep. Yeah. It's a 32 degree decline into the, into the mine. And the shaft is 290 feet long. So you can only see a little bit in here. Yeah. I mean, just from here. So you know, as soon as you get any distance in there at all, and can you imagine Pitch doing black. that all by candlelight or whale oil? Yeah, light? they had like a little flickering candlelight right here, which isn't going to help much. Oh, it's hardly any light. 
And then you get into even tighter spaces to do the actual mining. You can't yeah. even stand up. It's like three feet. Yeah, they said it was like three feet high. And even the kids, it was a little tight getting in there. Yeah. And so that blew me away the most that as young as six years old, you were put to work in the coal mines in some fashion. Yeah, and that's why that's uh, I'll overlay the picture of the schoolhouse. But the schoolhouse, you see, it's mostly girls, little girls because all the boys are out working. Now, the boys not only had to work during the day, 10 to 12 hours coal mining. Go home, clean up, eat, and then they had to do a couple hours of school. go to school. Yeah. And then get up and do it all over again the next day. Yeah. Yeah. That's a rough life. Oh, man. And they probably had black lung by the time they were 13. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Good Lord. That's probably why they had kids back then. You know? Well, yeah, it's cheap labor. You know? What they They're say. rolling dice like hoping for boys. Come on, boy. <laughs> yeah. Ah, dang it, got a girl. Send her to school. <laughs> so. <laughs> Let's try for another boy. We need a minor. Right here. They said they adults made just over $3 a day. Working. And the children made a dollar twenty-five a day. Yeah, so the kids are moving into tighter spaces, sometimes doing yeah. harder work, and they got to go to school Doesn't afterwards. Yeah. Half the pay. Half the pay. One. <laughs> man, like it's a you, rough life. Mining was rough. What do you have to look forward to, man? Not much. <laughs> You really don't have much to look I'm forward I'm just like grasping at what you had to look forward to. Yeah. I'm like... Well, kids didn't get to be kids if you were a part of the mining family. Yeah. I mean, a 12-year-old kid probably looks like he's 50 years old. Yeah. You know, I can only imagine. Yeah. Life expectancy probably wasn't much. Well, well it wasn't to non to mining with, yeah. people back in the <laughs> early or late 1800s, early 1900s. <laughs> wasn't a long life expectancy to begin with but yeah this probably cut it in half yeah um there's a cemetery over here so we're gonna go check out yes. the cemetery and then we're gonna tell you some really cool fun facts about all that we've learned so stick around for yeah. that um we're headed up to the to the cemetery and wanted to kind of give you a gauge if you're if you're in this area you come to visit this and you want to go up to the cemetery it's right up i sit way up there <laughs> all uphill so it's all uphill coming down will be like better it's but... probably uh, between a quarter of a mile and a half mile, maybe. Yeah. But all the pill is going to feel like more than that. Yeah, definitely get our steps in. And how many people are buried here? A little over 200 are buried up here from the, the when this was a town. Yeah, this was a town. When it was a mining. Schools, churches, mining, it was, businesses, yeah. the whole deal. This yeah. was their main road right out here in front. All right, so we're going to walk up to the cemetery and we'll show you. Some dead folks. Dead folks, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I have to push my legs to work. Are you gonna make it? Could be a definite maybe. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Ready to the top and it's a list of names here of everybody that's buried here. Yeah. There's an unknowns. There are some unknowns. 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 Yeah. Um I think the unknowns are probably people that just tried to hike up here. <laughs> And we're, just died as soon as they. We might be those next. As soon two as they got them. to the top, just fell over, and they're like, "I don't even know who these people are." Just throw them in a thing. Yeah. We'll call it good. Yeah. That was a hike, man. That was a hike. Oh, I, I think mean, it was good exercise. Sometimes it takes more energy to go down, I think, than up. That's what I was thinking, because you gotta like lay back as you're walking. Yeah, it's loose so you gravel. Because it's dried up dirt. 
Yeah. So there's not good traction. Oh, uh, traction. You, you fall you're step going and down. You're Whole different down. muscle group you use on the way down. Yeah. Then you're going up. So we got a workout today. Yeah. But we wanted to share a couple of the fun facts. So there's there's 12 of these mines actually, right? Yes, 12 mines. And we only got to go in one of them. Yeah. And the one that we off. went in, yeah, was actually we only got to go in this much of the mine. Yeah. There are eight miles of mine of mine through there. That a lot, a lot of it they won't let you go through just for safety reasons. Exactly. And I mean, you don't want to be eight miles or four miles into the mountain and something <laughs> go wrong. Yeah. So uh, they've really stabilized and reinforced. You'll see that when we go in there. You see the the reinforcements on some of the uh, some of the openings, openings and yeah. stuff just to kind of allow us to even come inside. Yeah, because what they made it the openings is like almost double what the actual yeah. openings were. Like the openings were really just wide enough for carts to fit through. And maybe a mule if you were and lucky. A mule, yeah, <laughs> if you if you had a mule. <laughs> but other than that, then once you got deeper in there, they got you know three feet. Um, wide or yeah. three feet by three feet, three feet so yeah. i think a lot of the mine is still like that and that's probably a lot of reason they won't let you back there too exactly it's because a lot of that mine is just so tight you can't fit. um another thing i found really interesting was that back in the day before electricity was a thing yeah and everything was run off coal this mine ran power for the city of san francisco that was crazy that is insane because we're like an hour an from hour san francisco, from francisco. Yeah. but it just takes us so much coal and yeah. because this is not super high quality coal and burns faster you need a lot more of it it took a probably a ton of coal to run san francisco yeah. until you know electricity yeah. came yeah. came about and stuff that's yeah, impressive and uh, the reason that they don't mine here anymore i found interesting too was because uh up in washington state they found better coal yes there's different quality of coal which i didn't know this that they had here was very soft soft that you could snap Fragile. it yeah you so know? it just burns up faster yeah so that more dense compressed coal burns a lot slower Slow. yeah. that's the stuff they found up in washington state so they packed it up moved it out moved the whole operation over there yeah yeah that's that's a project in itself <laughs> yeah <laughs> getting all your equipment. Uh, i don't it probably won't include it in the b-roll but i will overlay it while right now while we're talking about it it's, you see on the walls these little circles yeah that was interesting so little circles well first in the first place how all the sand got there was 50 million years ago this was underwater all this underwater. was ocean yes and it compressed all this stuff into coal yes now when they're pulling the sand out for the uh for the glass um they discovered you know fossils and Critters. old sea life yeah. that used to be under there and so those circles are actually um shrimp shrimp markings <laughs> yeah <laughs> so you see shrimp all through Plastered the hallways. All over the walls. So you see the little yeah. circles, it's shrimp. It's crazy. Yeah. It yeah. was interesting. Yeah. And what was really refreshing in this the last fun fact, but it was really refreshing in there, is that um it's a cool fifty six degrees. Year round. Year round, yeah. man. But I'd say definitely worth it. We learned some stuff that we didn't know before and seen some stuff that we'd never seen before. So all in all, successful day but, adventuring. Yeah. <laughs> it was interesting. It was a nice new learning experience yeah i knew nothing about mines really yeah not, never been in not one. really too much knowledge on that but so i got about this much more knowledge now <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed it uh like we do at the end of all of our videos we're going to honor a fallen hero if you want to get involved with helping us help vets out on the road everything you need to know is down in the description mm -hmm. of the video appreciate you watching thanks for coming along with us on the mine tour <laughs> we'll see you next time bye, bye.